Hey, what's up, everybody? It's Kevin, and uh, what I want to do right now is I have a I have a really short amount of time to record something. So what I'm gonna do is try to slap something together. This is more of um, a gushing love fest type thing than anything else. So I just recently acquired a complete inbox copy of Turok Dinosaur Hunter for the PC. Now I know that this game, I believe anyway, this is probably just me making an assumption, that this game was more popular for the Nintendo 64. But the reason why I find this game to be really special is because this was the very first game that I ever saw in my entire life on a 3D accelerator card. I recall a friend of mine, and I'm such an ass because I don't remember the name, of the person at all they just got like a 3d fx card and they got this game and you know to me i mean i had seen the n64 and my thought was how much better could it possibly be and holy crap my mind was completely blown at the time now i'm gonna play the game and you know i tested the game and it's not as mind-blowing when i see it today as it was back when i saw this and it was a 96 or 97 whenever this game first came out now you'll notice that this this does have a tear on the upper corner i did reinforce the back of it with some adhesive so it's pretty strong now but it looks like it has you know a tear in it but if you were to work on that it probably wouldn't rip or anything so i just wanted to spend a couple of minutes just to you know just to kind of show my love and affection and appreciation for this game uh, and just kind of showcase it for maybe anyone that hasn't seen it now my understanding is um there's been like a you know, re-release and you know a lot of people have you go online you can see a lot of people playing like high definition wide screen versions of this game and it's really cool it looks really beautiful to me really nothing will replace playing this game on a era pc whether it's windows 95 or windows 98 with a 3d fx card one of the things that i'm going to warn about is again this is probably going to be a short video because i i'm on my way somewhere you can see i actually you know did my hair and stuff like that so i'm going to be leaving here in a few minutes so i really don't have that much time which is why i'm wondering why i'm babbling so much i don't really remember how to play this game i haven't played this game probably since i was about maybe 16 or 17 years old at and that's the n64 version so i don't really remember how to play so let's pop this motherfucker in and let's see what we can do Turok Dinosaur Hunter version 1.0. I don't know why, but I can't do any higher than 640 by 480. So, I don't know, maybe there's a patch that I can find, but we'll we'll go with this. So let's just uh, start Turok. And a lot of you guys can laugh at me and how bad I am, because I'm really fucking bad at this game. And uh, let me get my phone out, because I gotta keep an eye on the time. 3D FX, yeah. Yeah. Looks so good. <laughs> Remember how awesome that was? So just to reiterate, this is all on period hardware. Um, this is on a Gateway Essential PC, running a Voodoo 3DFX graphics card on Windows 98. So this is not emulated, this is real hardware from the period. I don't even really remember how to play this game, so again, I'm just kind of... I'm kind of winging it here, I'm going to embarrass myself. Now, one thing that I do recall... <laughs> Gotta get comfortable here. See if I can get my keyboard in my lap, maybe that'll help. Is that, uh, fog was used very liberally in this game to hide some of the distance issues. Yeah. And I don't even, I don't remember what these power-ups are. Oh, come here, you little Yeah. Slit that throat. And as unimpressive as this looks today, holy crap. I remember when I saw this on a 3D FX card back when this thing was new, it drove me nuts. I went crazy. I mean, this... I'm just gushing over this game. I can't wait to actually have some time with it. Before I could, you know, learn how to play it again, remember how to play this game again. Oh wait, there's a secret in the water? Wait, there's water over here, right? Or am I thinking of a different spot? There is a secret in the water, hold on. <coughs> Um, yeah, look at that! A couple of memories come back from the old brain. Do we, uh, anybody who watches this that's younger, um, your brain stops to work at some point. 
All right. I don't remember what's in here. But uh, one of the things, um, when I was testing this game, I didn't get very far. It just, you know, for disclosure, um, having the fog is really disorienting because it, um, it makes it incredibly difficult to see where you're going and all of the scenery looks the same. So because of that, you just get lost so quickly. At least me, I do. Oh yeah, look at all this. Okay, here comes a dinosaur. Let's take a look at this guy. <laughs> you be dead. I don't remember what skill level I picked. I probably picked whatever's default, which is probably normal. Which means I'm gonna die in like five seconds. The other thing is I, I find the jumping mechanic a little bit difficult to land. Uh, I also did- ooh, I can climb this wall? Oh, look at that. I also was able to get this to run on my modern Windows 10 PC. There is a widescreen patch. Hey, cool, look at that. There is a widescreen patch that I did find, but for some reason I wasn't able to get it to work, and it's supposed to work, I think, only with uh, Direct 3D. Um, and it didn't work. It kept giving me some error about Direct 3D error or whatever. Can I walk down this thing? I guess I can, not maybe? I don't know what's happening. Um, and then I tried some software that um, um, emulates 3DFX cards. And it was giving me a, uh, an issue where, similar thing where I couldn't run it in higher than 640 by 480. But there were all kinds of graphical glitches. So I was like, just I'll just run it on the real hardware if I want to play it. And I can tell you from just goofing around here, this looks a lot better than it did on the software emulation for the 3DFX. Alright, what do I do? The jumping mechanic is a little harder to land for some reason for me. Uh, I'm in the middle of playing a couple of other FPSs from the late 90s and early 2000s that have a much tighter control scheme than this, so... Ooh! The one, ooh he gave me some health, cool. We always thought those little things were, uh... weren't supposed to kill those things. Sorry, I don't know if that, if my, uh... recording is picking that up, but I'm getting a ton of, uh, of emails. So my email thing is going crazy. Okay, where do I go? Hey, whoa, what's this thing? Is this like a secret- yeah, this is like one of those secret levels. Alright. Dude, look how, look how fucking radical this shit it looks. This is sweet. All right, now this is some precision jumping here, which I am going to probably not do very well at. Uh. Uh. <laughs> okay, ooh, shit, bad guy, die. I don't, uh, I don't know if I remember this room. Ah! I think the ground is electrified. This is like when you're a kid and you play like, you know, the ground is lava. That's what this is. <laughs> Every time I jump, I'm taking my life into my own hands because of how bad I am at this. Oh, man. That well. Over there. I'm shocked that I pulled that off. Absolutely. Absolutely shocked. Alright, did it drop me off in the same spot? I think it did. Well, that's perfect, because I don't know where I'm supposed to go. Alright, what's the time? Alright. 5.14 p.m. Oh yeah, and it always has those like scary background sounds. Wait. Today? Duh. One of the other things too is like, I'm like where do I go? Where do I go? And then it's like, oh, right here. Whoa. <laughs> Bam. 
Love how this game looks. It so personifies... Personifies? I don't know. It's just, it looks like it's time. It looks like an early 3D FX game, which makes me happy. Uh, I guess I gotta jump. <laughs> yeah, and this game I think very proudly pronounces on the box. It doesn't say, uh, you know, recommended 3D uh, accelerator. It says that it requires a 3D accelerator. Oh, man. I don't know how I did that on the first try. Must have been like the one practice run that I had when I tested the game, I guess. All right, and this is the check one, I think, yeah. All right, let's see, let's see if we can hit this right. <coughs> Has that Doom guy sound when he's in the um, the green sh? Oh, speaking of green sh. Sorry, man. All right, now what? All right, let's go. Uh, you know, look at these text. I mean, again, it doesn't look like much. But I remember just being completely blown away. At the time, I'm gonna have to do some research on how expensive these cards were, but they were pretty goddamn expensive, if, if memory serves. Cause, um, only the super cool kids had, you know, uh, 3D FX cards. And I think I remember that when the second Dreamcast was being considered, ooh, another one of these things. Um, they were considering, whoa! They were considering working with um, 3D effects instead of NEC. Whoa! And that was something that I was pretty excited about. I, I always thought the 3D the 3D effects had a cool name. Whoa! You know what? Ah! You know what? Okay, just run. Run for it, Forest! All right. Uh. All right, obviously I suck again. I would like to get a 3D FX t-shirt. I'm wearing my Atari t-shirt right now because, you know, super cool nerd guy. All right, um, I don't know how long I feel like dealing with, oh, missing these jumps. Why can't I land these jumps? One, I think one of the issues with um, the jumping in this game is he jumps really high compared to a lot of other FPS games. And a lot of other FPS games, unless I'm doing something wrong, a lot of other FPS games, you can sort of control the height of your jump based on you know, how hard you push the jump button. And I just feel like in this, he just jumps high no matter what. Even though right there it looked like he didn't, so I don't know, I'm probably just imagining things. I just, just say, I suck. I know, I suck. Oh, ah! Alright, that's good enough for me. That wasn't too bad, I guess. But all this scenery, um, I find my, see, I just went backwards. I get lost so easily because it all looks the same. And the, um, the enemies just keep magically respawning. So... There's no dead bodies where I used to be, and, you know, the, like, the bodies disappear, and the bad guys... Uh, no, I don't feel like saving. And the bad guys... You know, a lot of times in games... You know, if you don't know where you are, as long as you keep moving, you know, you'll eventually get to a spot where you start seeing new enemies. And... Ah! That's when you know, hey! Whoa. See, look at that. See how this guy just like came out of nowhere? And that's in a place where I've already been. That's what gets, that's what confuses me about this game. I don't like that design. I like, oh, I've never been here before, so yeah, there's, of course there's bad guys here. That still looks pretty good. I mean, at least it does on my screen. I don't know what the capture looks like. I know it's probably having to 
kind of blow the screen up a little bit. All right, I already came from there, so I got to go up these fingers, I guess. Up! 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 God damn it. I'll never be able to beat this damn game if I can't get this jumping down. I either over jump or I under jump. I don't really seem to be able to nail it uh, consistently. Okay. Jump time. Alright, I got maybe a few more minutes left. Let's see. I don't know what the recording time is. Let's see. Ooh, sorry, Bambi. Oh, is that health you just dropped? Thank you. Is that a button? And the fog. Why the fog? Come on, Acclaim. You could have done better than that. Uh, see, I've already been there. This is where I started. Okay. So that means that this side's opened, I guess. I mean, yeah, pretty chunky polygons, but not bad for the day. <laughs> Great doom sound. I love the blood. The very drippy looking blood. Right. <laughs> and then of course these constant sound effects of something coming after you. I don't know if that's supposed to scare you or annoy you. Whoa! Could I make that jump? Hey, look at that. That's right, Turok. You drank that shit. Hopefully there's some rum or something in there. Yeah, there's also no um, crosshair. Maybe there is in the options or something. I just don't know. Oh! This guy again. we got up here? <laughs> yeah, pretty shortly after this, you had games like Unreal Tournament, which clearly put this game to shame, which was probably like, what, like a year or so later? Not that much longer. Uh, I would say that was probably another one of my early 3D accelerated games, which I played on another game of therapy. I'll put the card up on the top here for any of you guys that are interested. None of you are, but that's okay. I do this for me. I don't do this for you. Nobody watches this. Oh, shit. I killed that guy already. Where the hell are these coming from? And uh, I'm pretty sure that they were much better looking um, 3D accelerated games at the time. But, again, like I said, I remember my friend having this, and I was just like, oh my god. This exists? It's amazing. This is supposed to go in there. I don't know. I am Torok. I am Torok. <laughs> okay, I have absolutely no clue what to do. I don't recall this. I'm pretty confident this game did not have an online element to it. I think it was all 100% single player. That's right. Eat that. And I'm trying to think, I, I never had this for Nintendo 64, but I think pretty much most people that had an N64 did have this. Um, I also do have four PC complete in box. I do have Shadows of the Empire too, which was another uh, PC uh, slash N64 game. Oh, I just did a circle. And uh, you know, the PC version, way better. It looks way better. Uh, if you have the means or whatever, um, get your hands on the... Can I go down there? How do I go down there? There's got to be a way to go down there. Where is it? 
Oh, come on. This, see, I, I hate it when I get stuck like this in games. I'm like running around doing nothing. If you're able to get Shadows of the Empire for um, PC, absolutely get it. The controls can be kind of annoying at times, but N64 controls were also annoying. Okay. Let's see if I can get down there. What do I do? What do I do? Holy crap, there's raptors everywhere! I think one of the issues with uh, pirating this game, which I think a lot of people do, is um, you don't have the music. You don't have the Red Book audio. Which, when you... Oh. Whenever you see that, that means some... Some guys being spawned. When, uh... When you actually have the CD of the game, you get to have all the Red Book audio. I don't know, maybe, maybe somebody saw that already. Or maybe somebody has an actual CD... ...rip of this. Where do I go? Isn't this where I came in from? Did I come in here? Hold on. Wait a second. That does not look... I know all the scenery looks the same, but that does not look familiar. Whoa! Are you throwing freaking tomatoes at me? You bastard! Alright, see if I can... Alright, I did not get that. Woo! 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 Please don't fall now! What, am I underneath now? Oh! Oh! Ugly spiders! Come here, you little turds! Alright, I guess that's the exit. Is there anything over here besides little turds? And you? Yeah, get some more these shotgun shells. Oh, I don't want to waste shells on you. Don't want to waste my shells on you! What do we got down here? Full health! Okay. Guessing that's it. See, look at, look at how everything is all same looking. So easy to get lost. Now, where's that? There it is. All right, we're keep on the time. Ooh. <laughs> Two keys to find on this level. Okay, where are they? Are they down here? I like the blood in the water. Can I, can I use guns underwater? Doesn't look like I can. Alright. That was a waste. I just... No, go away. Leave me alone. Alright. That was the other thing, too, I think, when I was playing this on my Windows 10 computer. Holy crap, I'm getting a lot further than I thought. Is, um... Even though I had my CD-ROM in the drive, it wasn't reading all the Redbook audio. It was just stopping. Which I thought was weird. It would play, I think... Wherever it starts to loop, is when it would stop. Whoa! I don't know, man. There's something really cool about uh, playing these games on the hardware that they were intended to be played on. It's pretty fucking awesome. I don't even know where I'm going. Is this... I just came from here. Oh, Sorry. Again, all the sameness is so hard for me to navigate. Alright, I went there. Here. Here. Do I go left? I already... Alright, I went here before. 
Alright. So I guess I go here instead. I'm hearing somebody walking around. Do I got left again? Am I stuck in like a fucking circular maze or some shit? Alright, at least there's a bad guy. Though I've learned that doesn't mean anything. Oh, hey, hello! What's going on there, fellers? What the fuck is that thing? Did it say Chrono Trigger? I didn't, didn't even catch that. Hey, how do I use a grenade? Alright. Alright. Am I going the right way? I don't know! All the sameness is... Oh! If I was walking around and everything was whoa, was that dark until I walked right up to it, that would freak me out. Alright, is this where I'm supposed to be? It is now. Oh good! We're right back here. <laughs> I have no idea where I'm going or what I'm doing. I'm just trying to follow. Just follow the path that's laid out in front of me. All right. Is there a stopping point coming up soon? Whoa. Whoa! <laughs> These fucking guys are showing up out of nowhere. It's over here. A dead guy. That's what's over here. What do you do when you run out of ammo? Right. It's got to be something. I've been over here. How do I get up there? Is there something over here? Oh, what are these things? Fuck! This thing! I've already did this one! Run for your fucking life! Ah! Uh, no! 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 Bad spikes! Alright. It's a chance to redeem myself! For all of my failures! Ah! <laughs> Time. Alright. Soon. Whoa! Oh, all the stuff I got before is gone. Why did I come in here? That's pointless. Just like this video. Completely pointless. Okay. Where do I go? Everything looks the same. I know that there's probably someone somewhere that maybe possibly. Ooh, there's a ladder right there. How do I get up there? Hey, fuck. All right, hold on. Ooh, okay. All right. So, wait. Where did I see that ladder? Did I see that over here? As good of a shot as any, I guess. I'm gonna take a guess and say that I'm probably not supposed to fall down there. Although, I don't fucking know. Can I make that jump? Looks like that's where I'm supposed to go. <clears throat> There's gotta be some way I gotta get up there. Uh 
Oh, I'm so frustrated. What do I do? Is there a wall that I climb? Am I supposed to jump down here? What do I- what do I- Whoa! I actually do jump down here! It's a f***ing, uh... Fog! Die, you little- I'm shooting it! F***ing fog! I'm out of pistol ammo. I don't know, I would say that this game is... <laughs> for me, this game is kind of hard. And probably because I don't know what I'm doing. Alright. Got one of these jobbies. Die. Oh, good. More jumping. That's what I want. Ugh! Because I'm so good at jumping. Look at that waterfall. <laughs> one of the, um... I wonder if this would look better if I was able to run this at a higher resolution. I bet you it would. 640 by 480 is pretty small. And I don't know why it's not letting me run this at a higher resolution. I have a, I, was, I think I have a Voodoo 3 card in here. That's a decent card. Maybe it's just not a supported card for the uh, for the time. I don't know. I guess my posture's getting worse the more that I play. One more on this level. See if I have time to catch one more of these little sh. Hey! Look at that. Hey, little. That's supposed to be some kind of a challenge? Hey, I'm at that place that was in the, um, the title. Um, what is this? Some kind of a level? Uh, okay, so I guess this is where I, um, I need to have access to stuff. No, I don't feel like saving. Is there like a level warp in here for me? Even though I, looks like I missed one. Well, anyways, uh, I think I have reached um, the limits to what I have time for right now. I'll just kind of take a look at my surroundings here. Um, for 1997, right? That's when this game came out. 1997. Um, it's not too terribly bad, like I said. I have a lot of nostalgia for this game because it was the very first game that I ever had a... I, I ever saw, I never owned this on PC, but that I ever saw used with a... Uh, graphics accelerator so uh, I hope uh, anybody that spent any time watching this had a good time I know I did um, I always have fun doing this even though nobody likes watching this kind of stuff so I had to go take off I got to be somewhere and uh, oh boy I just made it so um, take care and uh, I'll see you next time bye